so today I want to share another fish focus. Uh, I know that I haven't done it for a while. I've been working on a lot of projects, including cleaning my absolutely disgusting office. Uh, it's very clean now. I just want to let everybody know. Um, but any hoosers, so <laughs> I want to show you one of my favorite rainbow fish. Uh, and when I say one of my favorites, uh, my favorite one is um, most definitely the Precox rainbow or the, the dwarf neon rainbows. They are wonderful. I mean, as far as color is concerned, you can't go wrong. Uh, and as far as like character and then also people being able to keep them you really can't go wrong because you can keep them in smaller tanks than most of the other rainbows they don't get as large um and then as far as like a um golly like a rainbow that you want to keep in say a big school you don't have to have an absolutely massive tank to do that um so that's one of my favorites but the one that i want to show you today let me see if we can get over here uh these are let me switch the camera. So in this tank, we have Bosmani rainbows. We have the turquoise or Kamaka rainbows. Uh, apologies, not the turquoise. We just have the Kamaka. And then we also have Madagascar rainbows, which is what I want to show you today. Let's see if I get, whoa, watch this. Ooh. Oh, I love that. One sec, let's feed them. Ooh. Nice. And they are just absolute pigs, which is why I have to keep, uh, bottom feeders in here because a bunch of stuff reaches the bottom um but they are wonderful uh the madagascars of course are these guys here the ones with the red on the back and or the the kind of peacock feather look to them uh very very pretty fish uh when you're looking at them oh that one's got orange in its fins look at him wow he is really pretty um but when you're looking at them um they are uh, very different shape or color, I guess not color, but shape or form than most of the other rainbow fish. And I actually really like that. They look almost like a, like a peacock feather where they're skinny and then they have that nice big open tail with a circle on it. That one right there is a really good example. Um, and the females, let's see if we can find a good female right there. That's a good female. Has that kind of silvery bronze color with still a stripe and they're still pretty in comparison to other female rainbow fish. Uh, while the males have the orange and the red and the blue, um, as far as fish are concerned, males are usually a lot prettier um, than the female specimens. Um, and this is one of those cases where it's completely true. I can say it for pretty much every species of rainbow fish. Um, but they inhabit pretty much almost all of the south, um, how should I say, uh, the southern region of Madagascar. There's a few different rivers that uh, empty into some big, 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 big uh, lagoons out there. Um, there's a good one. Um, big lagoons, um, but the freshwater that drains into it, there's a lot of different freshwater fish like these that inhabit them. Um, and he's beautiful, look at that boy. He's not the, the most colored up male. There's the most colored up female, look at her. She's gorgeous. Look at her silver and yellow. Wow, that's really pretty. Um, but anyways, they inhabit uh, very, very acidic uh, streams and rivers in Madagascar. So when you're keeping them, you just want to make sure that you keep them, um, if you're getting wild specimens, in lower pHs. But they are a farmed fish. There's my favorite one again. Let's see if he'll come out. Um, the, if they're a farmed fish, most likely they're raised in 7.2 to 7.4 pH, which means that they're going to be totally fine. Uh, in most of your aquariums and they're very adaptable like a lot of different species of rainbow fish um, which means that they're totally fine in the wild they eat a lot of different bugs um, with that fall in the top of the water terrestrial bugs um, and larvae which means that they're perfect for that cool surface dwelling uh, feeding behavior and then when they breed which I'm really hoping with all these plants that somebody shows some breeding behavior but nobody has yet um, they like to deposit their eggs inside of plants, and they are, unfortunately, uh, if eggs get out, um, they are uh, predatory towards their eggs. So when I've bred, uh, those guys are the ones that I've bred mainly, but uh, other rainbows in the past as well. Look at him, he's coming to say hi. Um, other rainbows in the past as well, they are very, very predatory towards their eggs. If they don't make it in the plants, if they float down, another one's going to scoop them up. 
Um, when they are breeding, they will uh, do very well with a mop, um, which is always nice because you can just put a mop in there and then when you see the breeding behavior, uh, you're all good to go and they're really easy to bulk up with food so that they start breeding. Uh, it's just really a nice fish uh, to start your, your breeding process with. Um, there's a pretty boy. Hey, buddy. Gorgeous. But yeah, no, a great schooling fish, a great fish if you're looking for something that is, um, you know, very uh, colorful and pretty and different as far as a rainbow fish in a rainbow fish tank. Um, and something that I recommend all the time. Here, let me flip the camera real quick. One of my favorite rainbow fish. Um, they're just so different, so pretty, so wonderful. Um, I wish that I could have them in every single tank, but unfortunately they don't get along with everybody. Uh, they are nippers, so if you have fish that have more of a, um, a longer tail or they're slower, they will nip at their fins. Um, so you wanna keep them in faster groups of fish and faster uh, tanks in general. Uh, with slimmer bodied fish because they are, you know, a little bit of a bully. Um, but yeah, no, very, very cool, very wonderful fish. And that's it for this fish focus. So uh, if you want to come and see them, I've always got them. Come and see me.